Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. This week, the weirdness in Washington continued as October wrapped up and November arrived, and with it, more political sparring over the impeachment inquiry, plus new questions prompted by testimony behind closed doors. After weeks of Speaker Nancy Pelosi refusing to hold a vote in the House to open a formal impeachment inquiry, she changed course, and the House voted to do just that. On this vote, the yeas are 232. The nays are 196. The vote took away a key Republican talking point for defending the president, that the Democratic-led investigation was invalid without being sanctioned by a majority of the House. Now they're crying foul about the rules of the roadmap for the investigation. When you look at this Soviet-style process, uh, it shows you that they don't really want to get to the truth they want to remove a sitting president. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell summed up the rules for impeachment as... No due process now, maybe some later, but only if we feel like it. But behind closed doors, testimony revealed more damaging allegations about efforts made by President Trump and the White House staff to push Ukraine to investigate the Bidens. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, a decorated Iraq war hero and top Ukraine expert on the National Security Council, testified that he was so alarmed by the content of the July 25th call between President Trump and Ukrainian President Zelensky that he reported his concerns to a top White House lawyer. That attorney, John Eisenberg, ordered that the call record be transferred to a secure server and told Vindman not to discuss it with anyone outside the White House. National Security Council staffer Tim Morrison testified that although he didn't find anything in the president's telephone conversation illegal, he was still concerned enough about the content to report it to that same White House attorney. Starting tomorrow, it's expected that hundreds of pages of material from 70 hours of depositions will be released ahead of open impeachment hearings. The committees are still hoping to hear from some key members of the administration before they start, including former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Republicans say they want to call their own witnesses, possibly former Vice President Biden's son Hunter. But with just two months left before the Democrats' self-imposed deadline to wrap things up before 2020, time is of the essence. When do public hearings start? They'll be soon. <laughs> Could you be vaguer? <laughs> Today, we hope to answer some of those questions about what's ahead for the impeachment process. 